appreciate each other's skills and contributions. Nice tie. You like it? This is just in a nutshell, just to, to actually mention about what I believe, you know. In any organizations, the penguin is the backbone of the organization. It gives stability for the organization. Otherwise, the corporate, the organization will not be successful today. But once the generation goes, we still need to inject the new blood, new creativity. That's why you see peacocks were tired, right? Then you see other birds were coming because each bird is unique in their own way. But once we're able to together to appreciate diversity, then alone we can only do so little. Together we can do so much. So with this, I may just have 20 years of experience in the corporate world, but if I add up everyone's experience or wisdom in this room, it will definitely more than 100 years. Agree or not? Agree, yeah? So can I actually invite you to be my partner for this afternoon? So not just listen for me as a speaker, you will also have your wisdom and experience. So feel free to share, right? One plus one, no longer equal to two. One plus one equal to grapple. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
的错误数值在 curiosity， 从 psychometric 来 curiosity is nine point seven out of ten 啊。所以老师呀，很听懂我们的 study psychology， 阿们 professor， I'm so gay 耶，因为我是 gay 比比我。
some people think like that. And then the man was saying that, yeah, you don't know the women, huh? They were actually huh, on the Sunday morning that you and they asked me to pick up the shop on the floor. Can't do it other times, right? Why men, huh? why women never get to the courts? Why they go over and over the same thing, man and king? So it all comes to question, not between men and women. Now let's look at it. Just tell, there's a lot of jobs being actually created because of the relationship of the men and the women, right? What other job they say that a woman worries about her future until she gets a husband? How about men? A man never worries about the future until he gets know? the wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then, have you ever realized that there's a lot of women's problems actually are stuck with the word men, M E N, men of the house. <laughs> right? Men straight pay. Let's start with men. Gynecology, guy, so stuck with men. <laughs> Why does it take four 
important not to criticize or even over advice. <laughs> because, especially if you do not want to end up working home. <laughs> so very important. So now it's like, how I uh, understand this, uh, so now how, how to actually have this relationship, right? You know that three times past the same place already, or, and then she still, he still will not stop or ask for direction, right? Because if a man is going to admit, to eat, they, they are really lost, right? It seems like the man is actually admit to say that I lost my number one skill, finding weight. <laughs> so they would rather burn at stake rather than admit to a woman. So now you know what? Never criticize, never offer advice. So now isn't that the power solution? Like that, I said, like, you know, we want a better relationship. So let me teach you what. So what you do? Find him a birthday present. <laughs> GPS, okay? Satellite navigation system, which is an excellent partial boy's toys, man like him, which allows him to be always be right, never be lost, and love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> now, sometimes you come up, in the one you have to wait for birthday, right? But now, emergency, how? <laughs> so, let me show you also one emergency strategy. So you really have that already, uh, not in time to go and stop the shop and buy GPS, like Garmin uh, or Papa Go, right? So now what to do? Now, a woman, you need to tell a man, I urgently need to go to toilet. Then a man will force to be stopped. And preferably not at the service station, like two station. While the woman at the toilet, man will pretend to go to the shop, buy something, while he can actually ask for directions. <laughs> <laughs> That's an emergency strategy, okay? So then the man will tell you, you, right? I, mean, I wish that I know this, but now young girl, no? That's why now, I understand I know this, and I say, ha, ah, no wonder that I always argue on the road, man. <laughs> and you ask her, stop, man, I'm going to ask you first. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, ah, I know about everything. So I wish younger than five years, I'd argue more than three, right? <laughs> but not that easy, I'm telling you, you, okay? Now, what do you do? Many times, the players wear in white pattern. Okay. I want to show you a short video, okay? I want you to be focused. There are two teams playing basketball. One team is very white t-shirt. The other team is very black t-shirt. So they are playing basketball, they launch ball. I want you to count how many times the white team, white eye, not black eye, white team launched the ball. You know what I'm going to do? Count how many times the white team launched the ball. Then I'll see who's the first one, put up a hand and collect answer. Huh? Okay, then you have uh, chocolate to fly. <laughs> right. Okay. Many times the players wear and white to pass the ball.
left her feet. Oh, you are the one of the only artists who are able to see more than the body <laughs> Spot the gorilla. For people who haven't seen or heard about a video like this before, about half missed the gorilla. If you knew about the gorilla, you probably saw it. But did you notice the curtain changing color or the player on the black team leaving the game? Let's rewind and watch it again. changing from red to gold. <laughs>
take tax data. Women? No, we use words to communicate feelings and emotions. Totally different, right? Actually, both men and women also exaggerate using the words. The only thing men use the words to exaggerate facts and data. Women exaggerate feelings and emotions. Now, that's why I found out why women can talk so much. And then you make a conversation far more interesting because they put in emotion and feelings. <laughs> right, that's the reason. Okay? So, women always focus on people, they focus about life and relationship. <laughs>
you must never use cycle to punish a man. <laughs> it will be a very good tactic. You want to do it on another woman. Another woman will take note, you will kill it, right? If someone don't talk to them, it doesn't happen anything, no impact on men, then they'll come. <laughs> Thank you. 
we need to talk. What she really means, huh? I'm upset. Oh, I have to go home. I hope I hope. Not that I hope, not work with huh? We need, what she really means is actually, I need her. But she said, I'm not upset. She said, of course I'm upset. <laughs> Research. 
In general, women will have seven years more uh, life compared longer than men because women.
the other people. Okay? So we found out that in today's world, women were never rarely met in the workplace. Why? You are wondering, right? So we do psychology research. Because now women now work in the business world. They can find their sense of accomplishment. They are able to get their recognition, their compliments from the work they do. So actually, nagging is a sign, it's a symptom to show to us the women want recognition. That's all. Because just imagine if a woman who is 100% full-time housewife, she do all the little, 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 little house chores. She never got a Nobel Prize for her little, little, little contribution, right? And because of that, she actually hunger for recognition. She hunger to let people acknowledge her contribution. That's why she met. That's the reason. Now we understand the psychological effect. And then we found out women met in love, also they don't net one, right? <laughs> why? Because huh, the amygdala will be released, right? The chemical substance will be released, right? Highly in love. And then at that time, huh, the men also go lovely, willingly to do all the little, little things. Right. So don't need the back one, okay? So one you know it already, so particularly we need to know particularly for those men who have a housewife, right? Hundred percent contributing, less defender, take care of the family, take care of the kids to make sure everything is all okay. You need to give them the acknowledgement. Show them the recognition, show them your appreciation. Don't take it for granted. You see that man always say that I I know lah, no need to say. <laughs> So you need to show by your action, saying and a little little gift. To women, it's the thought that counts. It's not how big the gift is, you know, or how big the action. It's the thought that counts that relates to the women. But men always think big things, right? You see big things, they think about that. Wait up, I don't want that to take her holiday. Hey, yeah? But before wait up, I'll tell you what we do with you, right? <laughs> That's the reason, okay? So, the kid or young girl, they say, I never read the magazine.
even for what? Are you trying to avoid me? Okay? I'm starting to feel unappreciated. I feel that my props are not, it's not so long, longer attractive to you, right? I'm really hurting inside. I'm sad. I'm upset. Okay? If this is ongoing, I'm going to go crazy worrying about you. You see that it's open to me and I. Me and I. Just now, you, 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 right? No, no, it's me and I. So when a guy feels like that, me and I, how do you know? It is the best with the witness. You know, they are emotion and feeling person. So just turn the word you to I. Uh, then men will say like that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I never thought that you feel that way. So because of the concern, right, you say out. Men are solution, right? Problem solution. They hear that the solution, they were able to answer you, right? But that's just not about people, they do not know how to react, they just walk away. So now men are saying that, I'm not avoiding you, I do appreciate you, I'm not seeing anyone. You're still attractive to me. Men is a problem to her, right? You're able to respond, you talk facts and data, right? Compared to just now, you provoking emotion. Then is that okay? I'm going to work more hours, very stressful now today. But I promise you, I'll call you from now on every time I need to come home late. Okay. Nice, eh? <laughs> try it as uh, <laughs> well. Try, try to use me and I techniques. Okay? It helps a lot. When I was young, I was like, you, 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 you. But when I chose this one, you find out mm, less order. Okay? Better relationship. Okay. Now, let's talk about husband, right? Mother, maybe the kids also right. Oh, the kids never pick up their socks, huh? always throw them, you know. Then all the clothes, huh? jump back there, jump back there, right? No, 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 also like that, right? Then what we want to do, we keep nagging because we believe what? For the women, brain, we believe what? We are just continually reminded in life. That's from our perspective. But to the kids, right? Can she say that they are the king, huh? you are now the victim? Mother, <laughs> why you will go versus cycle? Because you know, if they do not do anything, you will continue to tell. So it will become a versus cycle. So it's actually the problem is actually women. I learned this, right? Don't say also men. Then I do one time, you know what I do? It's actually, I never learned that. Playing that. Mm. How playing that? Direct communication. Because remember, women do not know how to use direct talk, right? So I love to use direct talk. So now, in a very relaxed, not aggressive, but direct way. I'll let, I'll make it a more concern. Now, from now onwards, turn the comment into a request. Okay? I want from now onwards, you know, when you come home, you automatically put your shoe and your shoe strap and put your whatever clothes in the basket for washing. Now, I'm not going to buy you any more of additional pair of socks or shoes, whatever, okay? The consequences, if you continue to do like that, you will run out of the shoes and the shorts to wear to school. Say it only once. Because before that, you know, the child knows that you are making right. You feel that they talk, first time they talk, not too much. She was until doing that, but she was still picked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how mother do, right? So, gonna display for ourselves, we must let go, right? That really do nothing. So now you let them really experience the consequences. What the consequences they experience it? You have it with what? Psychology. How is that psychology? Because we human, we are all are programming for habit. To let our brain will be free to face challenges, to face danger. So it become a habit. So how to break the habit? You need to write a new story. You cannot go back to an old story. It will never be right. So the new story, let them know the consequences. If they do not do what you tell them to do. Right. So, reinforce it. Right? It should. If you reinforce it, you do this, it's a consequence. You do this, and then show by action. How the factors focus, you will change. You will work in so all is about communication, tell what you expect to see, tell them what you want things to happen, what you want them to do. Then communicate it clearly, directly, decisively. You have to be give men a time time table, right? Even to your son who do, right? Men, right? Because they never know women's scoring point system. They never know their father never know, their brother never know, their son never know, right? But only women know unconsciously. So you need to let them know, if 
back consequences. Okay? And the man that did like that, when you work very hard day for long hours, seven, eight hours, when they go home, they need a break. So what we do for them? Do not come home, the man walk into home, then start up, 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 because you're so eager, you've got 4,000, 5,000 words to go, right? <laughs> you know? So not continue. Men need a, we call it fire bathing time. They just need 30 minutes. Okay? They just need 30 minutes. So give them that 30 minutes. They will sometimes they're not sleeping whatever, but they just sit in front of the TV, they're switching the TV, right? They're just switching, don't know what, no, you cannot. See, you're not already watching the TV, but keep switching the TV, but still don't want to listen to me, right? And they just, when the men switching the TV channel, they actually fire the AC. They try to collect them themselves back, to think over their problems, to recompose themselves. That's how men do. Now, sometimes, let's say, if a woman don't understand, men need a fire AC of 30 minutes after a long working day, right? Then you can also be proactive, help your loved one. You know, darling, you know, um, you can become a little bit tired, you know, I need 30 minutes by myself. After 30 minutes, I'll be here, fully present for you. <laughs> wow, okay. What I say, Now, sometimes you really, at the moment, you're not able to do that. So you can also say that I'm so tired, you know, uh, at the moment, I can't think out of it, you know. Can we come back to talk and discuss about it maybe tomorrow or during the weekend, you know, so that I have time to think through it. And women will understand. Because they will understand you're not like shoot them away. Well, they understand you need the fire casing. What in nutshell, in summary, women just want to be listened. They do not want to be fixed. So they don't want solution. Just listen. So continue to understand now what are the differences between male and female, between the mom and the witness, if we're able to enjoy our relationship journey together for a better and richer relationship. 20 magic words for you. Everyone ask your partner. 20 words. Is there anything I could do differently next time that will make it better or more valuable to you? Yeah. Open conversation. The person hearing it will tell you, even a woman tell you directly now because you ask directly. Same thing for women to also ask the men, no? Is there anything I can do differently so that can be more valuable to you or make you feel better? Magic words. Customer service. You can do that for your customer as well. 20 magic words. So, what you do for customer service for clients, you just change the word I to we. That's it. So you talk to a customer, your corporate client, just turn the eye to you, you know? Is there anything we could do differently next time? It could be more valuable to you. Oh, <coughs> so give that the one percent. Because there's no more stress on this side. <coughs> that this is a long, loving relationship. Enjoy and reaching relationship. So <coughs>
one now show you the way. So the boy brought the pastor. And then the pastor thought, ah, oh, I'll do a good deed in return. Okay? So he asked the little boy, says, can I show you the way to heaven? And the boy said, La, how can you show me to heaven? You don't even know the way to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, women do talk more than men. <laughs> it's a fact. There is a empirical evidence. This man went and he caught and killed 12 flies. And so told the, the wife, did you catch any? And she said, yes. So how many? 12. 10 female and one, two male. So he says, how can you tell? He said, the two males go on the beer can. <laughs> and the ten flies go on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, communication. Very important, as he says, yeah? So I'm reminded of this couple who have been married 20 years or so. So getting complacent in the relationship. And then the wife noticed that a young couple who moved in were very loving, very romantic. See, every time we went up to work, she would give a kiss on the cheek, and come back, and then take the briefcase and give the husband a pack of the cheek. And so she told the husband, said, why can you do that? And the husband said, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> so, last, last week, New York Times reported they found the happiest couple. He is deaf and she nags. <laughs>
own Self-defense. <laughs> 